whatever you wish to accomplish, you can pretty much do with the system. And you can always start out small and build your way up. With all sorts of options here, you can build up your own dream system with up to 94 input channels with everything memorized right down to even input trim and fan and power. But really the first hurdle, the first mental hurdle you'll have to uh, get over kind of in a shift of your thinking is that the mixing is not actually done here, but over here in the mixing processor. This is where it all really happens here. It may just look like a very cool patch bay here, but this is actually the heart of the mixing setup here. Uh, and the console really is a remote control for that mixing processor here. And this brings up a couple of very distinct advantages for you. The first being, this is what connects the processor to the console. Just a couple of little cables that can get this, get up to 200 meters, that's nearly 220 yards away between the processor and the console. Now imagine what you'd spend for a custom snake. You'd have to be 94 channels, 200 meters long, it would cost you literally thousands of dollars, let alone the chiropractor bill for lugging that big old snake around. With this approach, you can use Roland's inexpensive VM link cables, or if you like, you can even make up your own as long as they conform to the AES EBU protocol. Now for live guys, this is obviously a hit because you can be as a mixer 220 yards away from where your performance are patching in here. And for studio guys, this can be down in your machine room up to 220 yards away fully controlling your multi-track recorders as well. You could even just drop this in as like a patch panel in your booth if you like. So those two big things, the cost of your cables and the sheer distance between your processor and the console are two big factors that make this systematic approach the way to go. Expandability is a big plus too. And even though this is sometimes a very subjective thing to a lot of people, we've received enough praise about the overall sound quality of the system to realize this is just a great sounding system. We've had an overwhelmingly good response from existing users. They just love the sound of the system. So let's break down the individual components of the system so you can design your own. First up, you'll need to decide what control surface you want to use, either the 